When Michael told me that we were going to be getting a really huge box of toys, I decided that I really enjoyed doing unboxing videos on the channel, and I wanted to share this experience with you guys, so I'll let Michael tell you about what's inside this awesome box right here. Yeah, we just got this box today, and I wanted to sort of do a video about this. Melinda really encouraged it. This is, we've done unboxing videos before, but this is kind of a, a cool story. Somebody on the Facebook page uh, who's a Retro Blasting supporter, they actually found out about us through another Retro Blasting supporter uh, who's a dear friend of ours online, and they reached out to us and said that they had a large collection of childhood toys that they needed to get rid of to save space in their home, but they were very uh, emotionally connected to these toys and didn't want to see them just sold off and scalped and not know what happened to them. So they reached out to us and said, hey, uh, I'd really like it if Retro Blasting, if you guys would take care of my toys for me. I, I was very humbled by that. And I know it sounds cheesy, but I really mean it. I was very humbled by this. Um, Chris, if you're watching, we are going to take care of your collection. Uh, it's never going to get parted out. It's never going to be scalped off. It's going to be well taken care of, and it's going to be a centerpiece of the Retro Blasting Archive uh, from now on. And what I thought we'd do for our viewers is open this box up right here to see what's in here, because Chris was clearly a massive fan of Mask. So anybody out there who loves Mask, you're about to see some really cool stuff. So why don't we get to it? That is the boulder to Boulder Hill. It's your missing boulder. Uh, that's the gator, driven by Dusty Hayes in the uh, television show. This, uh, this gun right here on the top is a easily lost piece. It's amazing that it's still here. Still intact. What do we got here? Awesomeness. Oh, look at that. That's the famous uh, calendar poster. This looks... Oh, this is a later one. That's very cool. 1988. That would have been one of the last years that Mask was made. It's a box O. Ah, uh, this is the Condor with Brad Turner, who was a, a mainstay on the television show. And that's the Iguana, which was a later series vehicle. It was an ATV. And Brad Turner, of course, in the famous Condor motorbike. Ah, uh, the Vampire, the jet motorcycle. I instantly like it. I don't remember the name of this character. I'll have to look it up. I've seen this before. Yeah, that's the Piranha with Sly Rax. Oh, that's your favorite. It's my favorite knot. <laughs> it's my favorite character, said no one ever. I really, really hate this character. T-Bob? Oh. These were neat. These were cool toys. They had a lot of playability, and uh, it looks like these were kept in really good shape. Check out this dude. Yeah, I'll have to look that one up. I'm not as familiar with the later mask, uh, later mask toys. I'm very familiar with the early mask. But oh, look at that! That that right there is an often lost piece of the piranha, the the motorcycle canopy that goes over the front of the actual motorcycle itself. Uh, it's amazing. You can see here that it's got the commonly uh, broken off tab, but it, he still has it, which is really impressive. Ah, oh, Scott. <laughs> Scott. I carried him to school one day and dropped him and some kid found him and I got ridiculed for days for that. I can see why. 
Again, not my favorite character. Right. Yeah. And this is Alex Alex Sector. Uh, it's probably hard to see him in his jackrabbit mask. Buddy Hawks was in this in this box. Sorry, Buddy. Hey, he's a rhino. With the box, no less. That is really cool. The rhino was the flagship of the mask collection and the flagship of the good guys armada. The famous big rig that turns into, I guess, a Polaris missile silo. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the Raven Corvette, which is driven by Calhoun Burns, who you can see right there. And it uh, was, I believe, second series mask. Uh, it was one of my favorites growing up. I really like the Corvette. Corvette's awesome. That's Dusty Hayes, who goes with the Gator. The Gator Jeep. This was a later addition uh, to the mask lineup. These were sort of mini play sets that they would uh, bring out. Uh, this is one of the cooler ones because it actually has the Thunderhawk, uh, Matt Tracker's famous vehicle, on the opposite side. Uh, but this was a, I guess it flips down and becomes a, I've got to figure out how it works. I never had this growing up. Is that the firecracker? That is the firecracker. The 4x4 with Hondo McLean. Uh, still got the motorbike on the back, which is a nice touch. And cool. it's in really good shape. This is the Firefly. This was a second series vehicle with, I believe his name is Julio Lopez. <laughs> and it turns into a... Uh, where is it? Turns into a kind of flying jet indie car which is always cool. Oh, the Outlaw. The Outlaw was a later series vehicle. It was sort of a bad guy big rig, sort of like, uh, kind of looks like an evil Optimus Prime. <laughs> evil Optimus Prime. But uh, this, this vehicle was a later edition. It was sort of the, the Venom answer to the Rhino. It's really cool to see this vehicle. Again, it was a later series vehicle that I never had the opportunity to hunt for. That would be the Meteor. This is one of the later series vehicles. The jet and the canopy for it is right here. Oh, huh. uh, the jackhammer. That's the one of the first series vehicles, the famous, uh, I guess I knew it's it was a, a bad guy. One this is a I Ford like. Bronco, and he's still got the small cannon that goes on the top of it. Uh, it's got a broken tab on it, so it can't be reinserted, but just having it is, is a really, really cool find. This is another one of the accessory points. This is the toll booth, which I can't remember what it turns into, but it's cool seeing these. I think what's interesting about these toys, especially from a oh. perspective of all the legalities today, a lot of these uh, a lot of these playsets actually used real uh, real brand names on the automotive gear. So like this says Fram, which is a real automotive company. You've got Pennzoil on this side, Kendall Motor Oil. I, I, today the licensing for these brands would be outrageous. A toy company would never do it, but. But back then, they actually took the time and the budget to make that a little more real, and I thought that was really cool. Switchblade, the famous Venom Switchblade. Again, it's another bad guy one. Yes, it's a bad guy one with Miles Mayhem in the cockpit. Very cool. This one looks like it's in good shape. Oh, this is the Slingshot. This was the RTV that had the, the jet in the center of it, and the jet would come flying out of the top. This is very cool to see. This was, I believe, second series. Oh, yes, the gas station sign for the Boulder Hill. For an 80s kid, the gas station sign of, of Boulder Hill is an iconic piece of hardware. This is pretty big. That's the... That's the main platform for Boulder Hill. 
needs a little bit of uh, a little bit of cleaning and dusting and TLC, but it's in good shape, no cracks. Very nice. I think the nice thing about about opening these is not just the nostalgia, but it's also the fact that you can tell there was some care put into the packaging, which is really important. The last mask toy that I got online came in pieces. It was a it was a mint toy that then showed up in parts because the person didn't pack it well enough. A real shame. Oh, this is the Hurricane, which was Hondo McLean's other ride, which happens to be featured in every intro uh, of the show. Now that that is the most famous vehicle of the entire mask line, the Thunderhawk Camaro. Oftentimes, as you know from a previous video I've done, the bombs on the underside would be missing, but apparently one of them is uh, still here, which is really, really impressive. The Mask Thunderhawk, of course, has the awesome DeLorean feature where the, the doors come flying up, like so. You are a bit partial to that. I am a bit partial to DeLoreans, yes I am. Well, we're going to carefully go through the rest of this box and see if there's anything at the bottom hiding from us, but this was an amazing collection. We're going to take extremely good care of this. Don't you think it's amazing just the sheer number of mask toys in this collection? It is clear that Chris was a huge mask fan growing up. I mean, this this is an impressive array of mask memorabilia. Uh, it's a whole fleet. We love mask here at Retro Blasting. Chris, we're going to take care of this collection for you. Thank you so much for entrusting us with it. It means a lot to us. Uh, and if you ever need anything, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Mass crusaders working overtime, fighting crime.